Now all new at 6, the small plane that went down in the Everglades yesterday is just the latest in numerous crashes in our river of grass over the years. And in some of those incidents, remnants of those planes remain. In recent weeks, a pilot saw what he thought was a downed airplane deep in the Everglades. As CBS4's Hank Tester reports, turns out there were two military planes involved and the crash actually occurred 68 years ago. The call came in, possible plane crash deep in the Everglades, Everglades National Park. For sure, there was scattered wreckage. News and rescue helicopters scrambled. The report came in as a, um, as a recent plane crash, um, but the debris that's out there is pretty obviously, uh, you know, it's rusting. Plane crashes in the Everglades, there's been plenty of them, large and small. They've left debris scattered, and recent times have been more easily removed. Now, there are crash sites like this 1950s one in northern Broward County involving a Marine Corps Sky Raider, occasionally visited by groups of plane crash archaeologists. But what's the story on this crash site? It was two Marine Corps planes that were on a training mission in 1954, and there was a mid-air collision. Stationed at Marine Corps Air Station Miami were Douglas AD-5 Sky Raiders. This is a restored Navy version of the AD-5. Two Marine AD-5s took off June 3rd, 1954 on an instrument flying training mission. Three died in the mid-air collision, and one? I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, that he was able to survive, I mean, just being ejected from the plane. PFC William G. Collier, 20 years old at the time, told his hometown newspaper he just went along for the ride, said he was blown clear by the explosion when the planes hit at 4,000 feet. I was thrown out with the seat. I then pulled the parachute ripcord. It was the first time I'd ever parachuted. There's no plans to remove the crash debris after all these years. It is way out there. It's difficult to find. And, you know, now it's preserved as a, a cultural resource. Um, one of the things our national parks do, and certainly in the Everglades, we think of protecting the natural resources, but we're also tasked with protecting our, our cultural resources. More than a few airplane wrecks out in the Everglades, some of them decades old, and they pop up every once in a while. And each and every one of them has a story. This was just one of them. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.